closing government. And motion for this round is this has to be great to dominant as you the more choices you have, the happier you are. I'd like to call upon Prime Minister to open your guest with seven minutes. Here. Exactly the type of situations that we, as a government, want to uh, not have ha not to happen, and therefore we proudly uh, propose this motion. Two things I'd like to talk about from the problem over the, uh, uh, from the opening government. First of all, later please, I'd like to first of all talk about what kind of world we are talking about in this debate. The context, the direct context we're talking about. And second of all, I'd like to talk about why this narrative of a dominant narrative um, provides harm to many kinds of students and many kinds of people around the world. Now, first of all, what kind of world are we talking about? I'd like to clarify the five contexts that we have. First of all, I'd like to talk about you talk to you about the fact that choice is only provided to a small portion of the society, right? Maximizing, in order to maximize your choice, you have to be able to uh, have a wealthy family. You have to be able to be educated. You, uh, you have to, in order to get, you have education, you have to be wealthy. You have to have like uh, there's birth lottery. Some people are born not uh, with are born with this some sort of disabilities. Yeah, and also some people sometimes people are born into a minor uh, minor society where there are limited choices for them to take in the future in the first place. Right? These these means this means that choice is already limited to a small portion of the people. Also, another concept to clarify is that you are, in this current status quo, people are constantly surrounded with various information. For example, take the SNS. When you're taking a look at the word Twitter feeds, you get various kinds of like beauty products and various kinds of like um, advertisements that says that you need to take a, like some sort of plastic surgery in order to be beautiful. You could take this, you could take this kind of pharmaceutical like things like that in order to become beautiful. You're provided, constantly provided with other, with various kinds of advertisements that like says that you should do this, you should take that to, and maximizing and choosing these kinds of new things will lead to happiness. Another thing is that um, in the society, right, because that people believe, or dominant narrative, that people believe that more choices you have, the happier you are, you are expected to do many kinds of things. Take the example of cram school in Japan. The reason why cram school exists is because people believe that just simply going to uh, like a, a, a high school is not enough, and in order to maximize the full potential and the full chance of going to university, because they believe that you going to university is uh, and not maximizing your choices is the happy is will lead to your happiness, right? Um, students are expected to go to cram schools for like 10 or 10 hours, maybe 12 hours, and study for extremely long hours without actually, actually knowing what is the real meaning of doing this in the first place, right? You are blindly believing by, by taking this and by doing this, you are actually somehow leading to a better future. And this is 
the context. A third, then the fifth, fourth context I would like to clarify in this debate is the fact that it is a dominant narrative, right? We're not simply saying that there's a narrative about the more choice, there's a narrative uh, of a counter narrative saying that you know uh, you should be you, you, you could you could be satisfied with what you have, right? This is not the debate that we're talking about. This debate clearly says it is a dominant narrative where the, the teachers and the people, the media constantly bombards everyone with the idea of this. And people like are somehow brainwashed into thinking that the more choices you have, the happier you are. And this is the direct this is the kind of context that we are talking about in this debate. So moving on to my second argument, why does this narrative provide harm to various kinds of students? First of all, I'd like to explain that broadening, you know, broadening your choice doesn't exactly mean happiness, doesn't exactly directly cause happiness, right? So first of all, about the fact that it is a dominant narrative. As I have explained in the context of the first half of my, of my debate, um, the media constantly bombards them, it constantly shows them that you have to have, you have to take various kinds of, you have to you do things that will actually maximize your full potential, right? In the current status quo, there are various kinds of people with various kinds of necessities and various kinds of abilities, right? There's a wide spectrum of them. Let's take two parts. First of all, let's talk about the people who are who want to who want to succeed in life but are limited in their opportunities, right? They, um, take an example of a poor child, a poor child who, who's, whose family is not, who, whose family does, are not wealthy enough to fund them to, to go to universities, and they cannot get in any form of like, uh, they cannot be able to get, they cannot pay any type of tuitions, right? In this kind of context, because that the media and the people constantly bombards with the idea that the going to universities and maximizing happiness is always good, because that they feel that their choice is limited, they feel that their um, uh, their future, they won't be able to get a future. They won't be able to get a better job. They're, and because they don't have a better job, they won't be able to get a good family. They won't be able to, um, you, know, you know, properly, you know, uh, get give a child a full potential and these kinds of things, right? In these instances, people, children feel that just because that their choices are limited, their future is also limited as well. Yes. I think the problem of force be forced to go prime school or be forced to, to go university is not the problem of this narrative, but the narrative that going to good university is a prerequisite. But going to universities is one form of maximizing your potential and maximizing your choice, right? Because going to my like going to university is a job, right? So that's the reason we're talking about. Now, the second thing we're talking about is the fact that people don't people that don't actually want success in the first place. As I talked to you in the introduction, some people, um, parents force them to, uh, if, even if some high school students want to directly work after going to school, after graduating from high school, because parents want them to, be, to have more success and to maximize their potential, and the, and the fact that the social pressure for, uh, pressures them to work and to go to get a better job in the future, right? Um, first of all, people that, uh, so in these instances, people blindly think that they, at maximizing potential and going to universities is good in the first place without actually understanding why going to universities is good, right? This means that you're actually um, making more people blindly believing that is the best choice, and also that people feel that their choice and their free will is not respected in any way, and this is the type of situations that we want to, we do not want, and therefore we proudly propose this motion. <laughs>
uh, sorry, uh, people are encouraged to make choices that expand future choices. Uh, uh, I want to interpret this narrative. Uh, people will make choices to to expand their choices, uh, to expand the future choices. Uh, then I'll, uh, before moving to our argument, I want to refer to the opponent uh, the government. Um, They said, uh, uh, they show, uh, they mainly talk about uh, going to about going to university. Uh, uh, I think uh, this term is not mutually exclusive because uh, even if the dom dominant narrative, uh, this dominant narrative uh, is eliminated, uh, the narrative of uh, university can spread the the choices will be left. Uh, 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 the, the, if, if the problem uh, exists, the problem is that uh, they uh, people cannot notice uh, people cannot notice that university uh, university smallens the choices choices. Uh, this debate is not about the uh, narrative that they have to go to, uh, they, they should go to university or uh, rather, uh, so uh, mm, the argument is not, mm, is not relevant to this motion so much. Uh, then I will move to our argument. Firstly, uh, uh, individual level of uh, benefit. Uh, 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 in the paradigm which exists the dominant this this um, dominant narrative, uh, people uh, people try to get higher education and better um, or go to better university or uh, in order to see um, um, the better future which which spreads the uh, which spreads the choices. Uh, or uh, people, people will try to start business to give to give better life or to give um, better education to children. Uh, this this point is uh, um, the, uh, the 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 um, the situation that choices is choices is diverse. Uh, I think uh, the human happiness is based on based on uh, not limited not not. Not limited by anyone, and uh, the situation that people can people can choose a uh, available choice. Uh, so, uh, by dominant narrative, uh, people uh, uh, people will stand a better situation that that is not limited by some restriction. That is. Creating the available available the choice. Uh, second of all, uh, society level benefits. Uh, uh, in the in the paradigm, in the paradigm we we are we are spreading the more choices is uh, lead to the happier. Uh, uh, government try to protect the people's choice. Uh, uh, because uh, automatically uh, people will become to believe that uh, uh, we want to receive the, the worst choices and, and people tend uh, people will uh, people tend to select the party to make a policy that's great choices and so uh, uh, automatically on the in our paradigm, uh, the, the choices of people will spread. For these reasons, I'm happy to oppose. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Next time there are <coughs> 50 Prime Minister to leave your case business.
seven minutes. You here.
people who agree with it, um, they can still they can still um, find values to um, attach themselves with in a society that has equal um, discourses about different things. But um, for those who are not unable to have choices, they will feel frustrated and they will feel like this world, um, um, they're so unfortunate and they'll just hate the world. And for those who disagree with this discourse, will just feel like they have no value to attach to this society. They'll feel very left out and they'll feel like they, um, the society did not accept them and this is going to be very bad for individuals. So lastly, I would like to make a comparison of how our world, allowing um, discourses of differences such as appreciate what you have, um, be satisfied with your current status, if they are equally um, valued within the society, it will actually um, be better for people um, because it, will, it wouldn't be offensive for those um, for those who disagree with this, and it wouldn't make them feel like they can't live in this society with the dominant worldview that is there. Therefore, we are very proud to be <laughs> the dominant narrative. Thank you. Unfortunately, all the benefits and harm from the opening government were not mutually exclusive in today's debate, and rather we will flip all those arguments and become, make those arguments our uh, positive contribution. So first, on the point of people are forced to go to prime school, people are forced to go to university. We believe that even when you remove the current, narr uh, current dominant narrative that you need to expand their, their choice, those narratives that saying you have to go to good uni university in order to success, you have to go to co uh, Todai or Kyodai in order to set, those narratives will still exist on their side of the house. Therefore, we believe it, those kind of harm that may, they mentioned would, uh, would, would still remain in our side of the house. Rather, it will be more serious because the very good thing about this narrative is it's not telling you how can you achieve future choices. What is exactly you have to do in order to achieve future choices? Which means it's up to the individual to, to decide is going to a good university good for my future choices or not. For those, the cases that they mentioned in the introduction, it might be a better choice if he or she go to work at a farm or go to uh, like do some start some business or whatsoever. So we believe that it's better to have this counter, uh, to have this mutual index that how that you should not believe in those kind of narratives that blindly tell you what is what is the way, what, what is the only way to gain your the future uh, uh, future choices or future uh, happiness. But you need to decide on your own. You need to search for what is the best way that you can expand your choices. Maybe they said people are stupid, so therefore people cannot search for good choices. But we believe that if, like, even on their side of the house, people will like some those stupid people will not seek for good choices anyway. They have yeah. they have nothing to achieve anyway. Although this quite, might sound kind of equity to a violation, but sorry for that. So, uh, so that is the first point about the opening government material. The second, we talk about uh, like people will feel offense because like from two aspects. First, like they're for people who are born uh, born with choices, they will like 
And this, do you feel uh, happy? Uh, do you feel very sad? Or what those kind of thing? But we believe that the people they're talking about, for example, the rich people, for example, the son or daughter of, of the uh, Donald Trump, they do not necessarily have a lot of choices. So we deny the premise that rich people have more choices in the first place. The second, about those poor people, we believe that poor people will be more incentivized Life to seek for better outcomes, to seek so the social movement that they want to achieve on their side, because they know that in order to improve my future choices, in order to gain more benefit for me, for my community, I need to do this kind of thing to fight against the current oppression. So that is the way to gain more changes to the society, but not cannot be achieved on their side. This, the, certainly, I think they, they, they mentioned all kind of dominant narrative is bad without explaining why. We believe that this, there's no such principle like that because in the status quo, we have a lot of dominant uh, things. For example, virtues are generally dominant and all other kind of narrative, for example, you need to work hard, that sort of thing are dominant. They don't see that kind of dom all kind of dominant things are inherently bad on their side of the house. So if the clothing uh, government want to run uh, clothing uh, governments want to continue this line of uh, case, they have to say, they, they have to explain to us why specifically this kind of narrative is essentially harm, uh, harm have a huge impact and huge harm on individuals. The move uh, moving on, um, how, first, I, like, I want to clarify what, what is this, this, print, uh, this, uh, this narrative essentially. We believe that essentially what that choice means is choice is equivalent to agency because the very meaning of agency is the ability to make choices, is the, the ability to do what you want. So we believe that the agency is the very thing that the government wants to maximize for individual, for their citizens. So the agency is the very index that comparatively the best to evaluate pe uh, people's uh, happiness of life. So we believe that inherently this, this kind of index, this kind of domain narrative is cracked in and of itself. And all, if, even if it is not correct absolutely in all cases, it's still comparatively a very good standard for people to pursue their future choices. So I want to also to pre preempt to the point that they might talk about people will be very short-sighted because people will blindly search for more choices rather than focus on the thing that might be most suitable for uh, them. But we believe that that will not happen on our paradigm because the very concept of of expanding your choices is to make decisions that expand your future choices. For example, when you, are, when you know that you have a good talent in art, you would, you would concentrate in this kind of good talent in art and expand your future uh, to become a successful artist and then gain more choices and so on and so forth. Also, we have some counter narrative. For example, you have to concentrate on one thing to be professional and so on and so forth to prevent all those harms. The moving on, on the benefits, we believe that the benefit come on two aspects. So first, on the individual level, how it encourages people to seek for more choices and seek for more benefits for themselves. We believe that this narrative is essentially telling people that please make decisions that may expand your future decision. Please make decisions, con consider this decision before you make those. So, so we believe that on our side, when people are making decisions, like we exclude those stupid people because it's not mutually exclusive anyway. So people, people will think that is this making this choice, choice a, good, a good thing in future because uh, it can like maximize my agency in the future, right? So we think that people who are good have talent in science, they will go for become scientists and so on and so forth. People have talents in art or sport will also seek for those choices because they will know that this kind of choices they made at the age of 20, at the age of 21, will maximize the future happiness. Second, on the society level, why this why this can move? Like it prevent the government of censor their citizen and lim eliminate the choice of individuals. When we did that, when people have the, this very idea that choice is a is an essential part of my happiness, choice is a inalienable part of uh, my identity. So this is the case. The government cannot make arguments that even we censor your information, even we limit your choice. It, it is legit because we are able to make better decision for you. So we believe that that choice, that kind of thing. They will be uh, eliminated from two levels. First, the government, with the existence of this kind of narrative, will have the responsibility to pr provide more choice, provide more uh, agency to their citizens. For example, making policy, providing 
money, more job opportunities, and so on and so forth. And also on the next level, the voters, the citizens, also have the incentive to uh, not to the government that you have to make policy to ex expand our choices, but not to limit it. So very proud to oppose. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The problem of the open half is that the both open team just talk about in practical level whether the dominant narrative would lead to the better for the happiness for each individual or not. However, the point is that the, we think that whether the individual can actually make her happiness or not is dependent on individual individual because as the opening of the show mentioned, uh, as opening down mentioned that some people are just uh, confused by much information, where some people might be either stupid or something like that. Also, the, uh, if, if this succeed, uh, whether the people can actually succeed or not is dependent on the environment of the family. Therefore, we think that the problem from the opening half is that we can answer whether this dominant narrative will lead to the happiness for each individual or not. So as closing government, I want to explain why the, in the principle level, why the existence of the people who actually believe that the uh, uh, that more choice uh, leads to the more happiness is rather counterproductive or rather uh, discriminative to other people who actually seek for their dream or who can actually seek for the happiness. Therefore, we stand as a closing government. So this is the uh, uh, this is our contribution toward this debate. So uh, before moving on my argument, uh, let us clarify our stance because unfortunately the opening government failed to explain how the uh, the comparable in their cyber house we can actually make, realize the situation. So I will clarify our world. So we think that. Unfortunately, the opening opposition failed to explain whether this dominant narrative is extremely necessary for the people, for the each individual. Rather, in our cyber house, we are happy to add up the variety types of reading. Make example, even in our cyber house, we also allow the people, we also admit the people to actually uh, for believe that the more choice leads the more happiness. Still, in our cyber house, we are happy to allow the people for can uh, for have their, uh, for believe that that one the choice for. Uh, to seek for the one specific right is also admitted in our side of the house. This is meaning that in our side of the house, we are happy to allow the variety types of the living in the first place. So in our side of the house, we, have, we also accept the people who actually seek for the one specific dream or one specific lifestyle. This is the stance of our side of the house. Based on the, I will explain um, the, our, uh, our argument. So uh, so the premise from the opening opposition or the op maybe op government closing opposition is that if the people have the more choice, uh, these more choices lead to the happiness for each individual. But we think that rather these, these types of dominant narrative would lead to the uh, generalization that the people feel have their mass massive choice, it leads to the better for their for each individual. We think that how the people can actually feel the happiness is dependent on individual individual. If the if, even if the people who actually seek for the one specific dream, one for like example the artist, still they can make ha uh, happiness for each individual. Therefore we think that there is a no explanation in from the Opposition bench that one that's variety types of choices will uh, rather lead to the happiness for each individual. So that's the problem from the op opposition bench. So the 
first point is that whether uh, this narrative is really not a counterproductive for the, what, the, some people. So we think that uh, there is in, in, the, in this world there are many types of people. Like for example, that some upstream or some uh, people who can who will get the Nobel Prize can you have to use their, their precious lifetime in, even in use uh, even in younger age. On this kind of occasion, what actually happened under dominant narrative is that the, the same parents can actually uh, pressurize people not to choose that choice because because this is because the uh, choice for uh, which leads to the, per, the maximum choice is general in this world. Therefore, on this kind of occasion, even if the people have a massive incentive to actually seek for that dream, still the other still the other actor and family can pressure the people. So why this is harmful? Firstly, is especially in this on this principle is just the, something like the first choices, the first phrases. Also, because of the, this under dominant narrative, the past or the future is ranked as the under dominant narrative, meaning that for example the mass the the future or the past to which leads to the maximum choice is general and is higher rank than other uh, other future or other dream. Therefore, because of the under dominant narrative, that uh, the, the future is ranked under the dominant narrative, this is a harmful in the principal level. And even if the people that's not uh, affected by the dominant narrative, and if even if the people can actually uh, do the uh, can make succeed, still they have they they don't feel, feel or they don't suffer from their uh, discrimination from the other people because, like for example, the in their uh, university students, some if, but even if the vast majority of students can actually go to the university, still there's some other. Uh, people can uh, do the other uh, activity. Like, for example, the, some people have the incentive to actually be, make a, be a YouTuber or something. On this kind of occasion, what actually happened in the under dominant narrative that, that other people just see that the, these people is to some extent strange lifestyle from the vast majority of the citizens. On this kind of occasion, even if that people have a massive effort to actually seek the, uh, actually live in our society, if, even if that they can actually succeed in the society, still the other, still the vast majority of people regard as that people that they are uh, uh, just strange or something. They are, why this is harmful? Simply because they other people have the rest incentive to understand those people well in the first place. On this kind of occasion, uh, the, even if the people uh, sort uh, make a sort effort in the society, still the evaluation towards toward people is less than other people later. Therefore, I think that because of the uh, because of the existence of the dominant narrative, there is a difference between the people to people. That is really problematic. So opening government may mention about some uh, minority cases or something. I think that we we can we can also understand the point. The point is that the minority case is not unique to our discussion. However, is in what is what is, uh, what is uh, the contribution from outside of the house is that the why even if that vast majority of people still the some uh, people who actually seek for the one dream have uh, will uh, discriminate discriminate toward other people. Therefore, in time we think that our side of the house is rel toward relevant and toward majority cases. What today to our today's motion? So we think that because of the under dominant narrative, other uh, people will the people's choices is rather strict. It was rather strict toward in the, in the under the dominant narrative. Therefore, we think that uh, by erasing the dominant narrative and we can by uh, allowing the vast uh, variety of the lifestyle will lead to the better for the vast majority of citizens. Vast majority of citizens happiness. That's why we stand at the crossing government. Thank you.
uh, and the directory crossing. Uh, the first argument is the directory crossing to OZ, and the secondly, second argument is the direct crossing to this argument. So okay, please keep it in mind. And then I want to start from the introduction. Uh, in the introduction, all just all all sides just talking about the if the there is the dominant narrative, uh, people can get the good good choice or something, but we prove that, that whether the choice is meaningful or not, or whether the choice is good or bad, uh, it is just the choice is meaningful for the people. And the having many choices it could bring happiness with dominant narrative, and that itself is very important. I will explain later mm, and the other rebuttal are in my argument. And firstly, uh, firstly, uh, firstly, the about the first segment. Uh, so, uh, sorry, the in so how people find the how to uh, live or how to like how how to find how how find how to find their meaning of life. It is very very difficult things because. It is very difficult to find their happiness um, according to their choice. If they believe if this choice is uh, completely, completely uh, perfect, that later they have the possibility that they regret such kind of the choice, um, and uh, and uh, that such kind of like the uh, their thinking about their meaning of things is uh, especially in thinking about their life is. Uh, uh, it continues forever. Ask oneself and uh, oneself. It continues forever. So it is very harmful thing. And uh, for the people, for example, the future is very ambiguous. The uh, future is very ambiguous. So uh, people sometimes think that the, this Mars calculation is is it meaningful or not uh, or something. And uh, they are suffer from thinking about the meaning. So the uh, the government's premise are uh, tackled down with this analysis because they, they said the writing, writing, reading is um, very bad, but um, it's not a lot of harmful for the people uh, because they cannot know the, how the future goes. And secondly, uh, in the case, uh, uh, there is two types of. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about the. Uh, uh, some cases that people can have, people possibly possible people can have. Uh, there is the people who think about that uh, their decision is uh, completely good or the best best choice or something instantly, and uh, it because uh, you know the mind is very shakeable and it's very easy to change like the and the, no one can know about their future and the, if it, the, if they consider about their future uh, future the choice is the best uh, instantly uh, if so there is a case that uh, sorry I, I will sorry I will show you the example the there is a people who decided not to go to the university and uh, to be like a cook, like uh, to you know that. But uh, if the in the worst case is if uh, the result is coming from the later, so they cannot know this choice is good or bad. And but the worst case is that uh, the their choice that the choice was a uh, choice. The worst case is that the denial of the, such kind of people's choice. Like for example, they uh, got uh, unemployed by the such kind of the restaurant, and they lose their confidence or their value of living, and uh, uh, they think like, what is my life meaning or something? So it is a worst case. So uh, if they have so and the choice, uh, so if they believe that the. Uh, having a choice is very important things. They have the alternative choice that they can find that the alternative meaning that 
they, that is based on their life. But if they believe just one thing, like uh, I just this is uh, my life to be like a cook or something, uh, they they regret. They will regret that because they have no escaping plan to be some like to choose some another way. Uh, so it is very irreversible things, and they regret. They will regret. Uh, in the future, uh, and it is a worst case. So uh, we support uh, compare, comparing to the government side. Uh, we have the guidance that the, the guidance that the, even if the uh, one choice is denied or that that proved that it's very meaningless things, uh, having such kind of the other choice helps them their life because the it's helps like the it's. Can, it can be the their confidence to live or their uh, so yeah some uh, such kind of things and uh, they can find their way of life with uh, uh, another uh, thinking that uh, another way to live and uh, dominant narrative will help them to not to get. Let the worst be worst case uh, with no choice. Uh, the, the worst uh, life of the, them because they have uh, at least they have a choice that they can change. Uh, they can change their um, grab, grabbing their meaning of life or something. So the possibility uh, of choosing their cho uh, choices. Mm, very important, so we oppose this motion from the op op opposition side. Thank you. And this is our extension. Um, our stance is uh, that you know we should not violate other people's value judgment, and we should not uh, uh, we should not generalize other people. So I will give um, many rebuttals, and I will show um, the extension of our house. And, uh, and the rebuttals are you know all, all rebuttals and all extension is integrated one speech. So let's move on. Number one. You know that all uh, closing, closing opposition say that you know they they maximize the choice. However, you know this you know you know they should not they they did not mention about you know, how they use or how they use or not. You know that means you know I, I can understand you know how that choice will work for them to be happy. So I can understand that, that this discourse. And number two. You know, um, you know that opening opposition say that you know poor, pe um, poor people will have will have incentive to you know succeed. However, you know this is you know violating their value judgment. Why that? Because that you know the op the opening opposition say what opening opposition say is that you know they are you know they are generalizing that poor people are poor and poor people are never be happy. So poor people is not happy. So they are violating the poor people's judge very judgment. And the and, uh, third point is about that, you know, the opening option say that the that it is mutual ex um opening position say that you know um the ma many choices uh you will be happy and and you know that uh, you know you you uh, uh, you want to be succeed is mutually exclusive. However, this is not this is not true. Why is that? Because you know happiness. How do you define happiness? You know that. How do you define happiness? 
the maybe you know that is one indication is that you know um money why because that you know, money is universal thing and money have the magical um attraction because that you know you can change money into many commodities so compared to love or something like that you know when people you know when people are when people you know um, decide whether one person is happy or not, you know, the happiness is clear indicator. No, thank you. And you know that um, you know going to make, going to the university or getting higher education is connected to many choices. Why that? Because you know that um, going to um, you know the higher educational background shows you that you know you have a higher you know level of you know thinking or something like that. That you, that ability is is you know that um, required in many in many many type of job and and that's why you know that that you want to be and, and you know and you you will gain money. The gain money. Money is, as I clearly told, one one um, indicator to you know just whether people is uh, happy or unhappy. And and this is why you know that you know people you know people are people are let's say um, people um, think that um, that's why um, we we conclude that the, it is it is not mutually it is. Um, not mutually exclusive. I think that um, that many choices you have are happy and uh, let's say um, the the many many uh, the um, the um, you you want many people want to succeed and let's move on. So all other three themes mentioned about the practical case, which is dependent on each individual to individual. However, what our government, our, what, what our house say is that, you know, we should protect the value judgment of all people, which is ubiquitous to, uh, which is ubiquitous, you know, not depending on the, on the, on the, you know, how people feel or how rich people think like, think or think um, like, like or not. So, but the difference, clear difference between our house and all the other house is that you know we, we clearly understand the motion and what and what we protect is the value judgment. So so what what the all the other house you know want to protect is dependent on each individual to individual. So this is a clear difference between us. You will I think essentially, if you listen to the members speak, it's still contingent on the practical outcome. And furthermore, this, this specific narrative is not dictating people to do one thing, because it is still up to the people to decide what is the best thing to expand their future choices. Mm -hmm. So, as, I, as, my, as my brilliant partner clearly told that, you know, um, the, the existence of those who believe in that, you know, so the, uh, the same will, will so the existence of people will violate other people. Why is that? Because you know he is uh, let's say he is uh, not graduated university, so he is he have he do not have any choice, and he maybe cannot be happy or something like that. So that means you know we we decide what is happy or what is uh, not happy. So so th that's why you know we should not. Um, but that's why we should not violate uh, other people's judgment. For these reasons, uh, what, what we want to protect is clear, and what is, this is uh, our extension. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Finally, I'd like to work on motion week to complete this debate in seven minutes. Here, here.
Thank you, honorable judges and ladies and gentlemen. What we have contributed in this debate is two points. One, um, CG was trying to actually protect those who really want to do something that they want to do. We can actually violate that right or something like that. But we believe their side of the paradigm is rather counterproductive because they, they will actually narrow the, that, uh, without those dominant narratives, they will actually narrow the choices. And once that choices is denied, or they, they themselves found that as a meaning, me, meaningless choices, then there is um, easy, it, it, it would lead to irreversible harm. We believe it is objectively, and from the, from the uh, objective point of view, it, it is rather harmful. And that's why we can flip their argument and benefit. Secondly, Oji was trying to, uh, trying to, trying to actually uh, protect those, like, to say two points. One, one is that like, blindly believing what they are doing um, is actually bad. We, we sh they should have actually uh, try to find a meaning what they are doing or something. And secondly, poor people will actually um, regret, uh, not to regret, um, they will actually um, give up, like give up finding the choices or something like that. But our argument already actually flipped that argument, uh, flipped, flipped, flipped that argument uh, by saying like blindly believing is rather good and we believe like trying to find, trying to find and thinking infinitely what what they are doing is meaningful or not is rather harmful. We believe putting the uh, putting the meaning of what they are doing from the dominant narrative is rather rather better for the, for those people. And why our contribution is better than OO is that OO is actually based on whether they uh, materially they they are actually their um. Their choices could be good and materially beneficial for those people or something like that. But our argument is so important that whether that choice is good or not, whether, jo whether the outcome from that choice is good or not, or meaningful or meaningless, we believe having the choices, having many choices itself could be, uh, could be happy, happier with the existence of that dominant narrative. And that's why we are, we are actually superior to everyone. But let's actually be clear what we have said. Firstly, my partner already told you, towards CG, we, we, we believe those, uh, for those who really want to expand their choices, it is rather counterproductive for their side of the house. Why? Because, because it could lead to the irre irreversible harm. Without a narrative, they, can, they, they, they won't have any guidance or whatsoever. They will go, they, they will go to do what they want to do. For example, they will actually go to university, but they try to they try to do like cooking or something like that. But we believe, um, we believe they can actually regret that choice after they are, they take that choice. Why is that? Two points. One, some other people still can deny. For example, they didn't go to university and they actually try to cook or something like that. But they are both say you are not good at cooking or you are not actually types of cooking people or something like that. And that kind of like denial, uh, denial of the choices could actually um, could actually give a devastation devastational feeling to those individuals who actually thought that the meaning of life was to cook. This is what I really wanted to do, but I was denied of, of that choices because of that person or something like that. And secondly, even though there is no external denial from that person, we believe they themselves find it fine it wasn't a good choice or something like that. For example, that, that person thought they are good at soccer and they try to actually promote uh, they, they try to actually take that as a professional sport and try, take that as a working or something like that. But after the practice and practice and like matches, they found out that, that he, he himself is not that kind of person, which means he himself internally find it meaningless of what 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 kind of choices he took uh, in like months ago or something like that. And why this is harmful is that because it's irreversible, because that person narrowed his, his choices without having other, another choices, but now their choices are denied and they, them, they themselves found it meaningless. And that's why there is no escaping point for those people and it is really, really difficult for those people to actually find meaning after they, their choices are denied. But compared to that, our side is better for those who actually want to pursue what they want to do. Because, because dominant narrative, uh, which is the more choices, happier, guides people, not forcibly, 
um, they can give a good me a good meaning to what they with what they do, and then they could have uh, many choices. Right? For example, they would go to university and have like have an opportunity to get work or to have like play um what um to to go to like person or cooking something. Or they could have many choices. And even if that even if some choices or one choices of like um getting into like uh uh what. Uh, commercial agency is not good and I'm not a good person but still they can actually back up and they can actually find possibility of their future because they have many choices because they have they can feel a sense of possibility in the future to find the meaning even though that choice is uh, that choice one choice is, is not is meaningless or that choice is, is not that choice is not actually good for good uh, wouldn't bring good consequences to, to those pe those people still they, they can back up and and try to see broad, broadly and see, try to actually seek the better life and better choices for them. And we believe that having the possibility without irreversible harm is rather better for those people. That's why um, she is, she, she is un unrealistic. And um, yeah, and let's look at OG. What we have said is that blind, blindly believing is rather good. Why? Because in government paradigm, as I said, there is no guidance or something like that. And they will question what they are doing. For example, why am I doing like math program or something like that? Um, we believe this, this couldn't actually end. This, this thinking is an infinite thing because future is ambiguous for individual. It is hard for them to actually imagine what, what kind of consequences would occur for those people. And that's why they couldn't actually have any room to feel happiness or meaning of what they are doing. But they, are, they would actually are infinitely trying to find the meaning of that. But compared to that, our side is better because like dominant narrative can actually uh, actually put the put the easiest meaning for those people. Having the choice is more important, and that's why you should work harder. And that person, without like without suffering from those infinite thinking pro uh, processes, we believe those people can actually find the meaning of what they are doing currently, and also they could have a, a benefit uh, in the future. And that's why our side of the uh, our side of the uh, the paradigm is rather um, also in currently and also in the future beneficial for everyone and that's why Victor goes. サマリーをもらってそれをみんなで叩こう。王子を高く評価してる人からサニーとなっちゃう。はい。王子に、あ、王子に関して言えば、あ、そのコンテクストあの、どのチームを正直僕インパクトプレイじゃなくて、その現象
そのドミナントだからブレインウォッシュでとかそのディープリームのアリエルのところからそのライトディシジョンができないとかチョイスが広がったからって言ってその人にいいチョイスができるわけがないっていう話が来てる中でそのおこのなんかチョイスが広がった時に選べてそのこういう場合においお仕様だったらこういう場合においてなんか。えー、とそのうまくいかなかった時に選べるよねとかっていうのがその行き過ぎてしまうからよくないって話が王子からされててなんかそのドミナントっていうのにユニークじゃない話がお米から来てる時になんかそっちの方をあんまり積極的に評価できなかったって感じですなんかめっちゃ納得したうんなんかそれってなんかちょっと CG の素敵っぽい話 CG の素敵っぽい話なんですけどなんかそれがエスペシャリードミナントのなんかそれがそっちだけで達成されるんかっていうのがそのドミナントの説明がないからなんかちょっと残ってしまってでなんかそうなった時にうんだからそれをなんか新人の評価はだから私はちょっと別に高く評価してるっていうよりもなんかまあその指摘があってなんかガバ弁みたいな感じになっちゃうからこう,こういう順位かなって。王子1位はちゃんとしたディシジョンで新人の評価は微妙いけどとりあえず王子の評価はそんな感じで高いです。なんか俺が一番大事やと思ったんが結局お前ハッピーなのとか結局その人自身のチョイスっていうのがどれぐらいインパクトのあるものなのかっていうところがすげえ大事だと思ったんやけど、うん、ユニバーシティに行っちゃって後からしくったなーって思うことのハームの重さが全くわからなくて。ライトディシジョンじゃなかったなーって思うこと自体っていうのがなんでそんなにそいつにとって重荷になるのかっていう話が OG からは決定的に欠けてたと思ってなんでそのありすぎて選べねえっていう状態そのものが悪いのかもしくはありすぎて選べねえってとりあえず増やしとけってユニバーシティに行った結果の何が悪いのかっていうところが見えなかったからそもそも。まあ、事象としてそれが起こるのは分かってでまあなん,かなんとなく良くないんかもしれないなと思ったものの,そ,のそれがなんでやべえのかっていうところの話がない限りアーギュメント自体を評価するのは結構むずいんじゃねっていうふうに思ってでその中で CO をなんで評価したかっていうと、うん、なんかその失敗した時とかこれ私のいいチョイスじゃないわって分かった時に、えー、それが、えー、どんだけ。辛いのかっていう風な話をした後にセーフティーネットとしてオルタナっていうのがあったりそのチョイスっていうのを持ってる状態だったら他のも選べるしいつか見つかるやろっていう風に思うっていうのがそのどのチームも全てのチームがそれがハッピーその事象自体がハッピーとかチョイスがあること自体がハッピーっていうのをはっきりと示しきれてない中で比較優位を両パラダイムの差っていうのをクラリファイした上で明示してたと思ってそれが仕様が1位にした理由かなっていう風に思ってんねんけど。なんか OG の段階でそのインパクトっていうのがないと思うんやけどそれはどういうふうにうんこれは私がやった方がいいやつですかあまあ別に誰でもかあ OG のなんかブラインドリーにユニバーシティに行くっていう話は確かにインパクト,、うん、インパクトあんまりなかったと思うんだけどうんそうなんですよインパクトは基本的に全員の動く取ってなくてでむしろなんかどこを取ったかっていうとそのプアがなんかちょリンキッドチョイスで,でこのナリティブがあったらメンタリーになんかきついんじゃないかっていう話が一応来ててそこはあのまあインパクトレベルではないですけどそこの,あのコンテクストからの説明、えっと、コンテクストからのこれが起こるっていう説明はなんか,かどっちは分かったあそっちは俺メカニズムが分からなくてそのレスチョイスインボーンのやつっていうのに対してスティグマがそんな強いのかっていうところは説明がなかったしでおこべん LO とか DLO からいや諦めんやろむしろ頑張るエンカレッジされてフリーダムチョイスもっと増やせるように頑張るやろっていうふうな話がなある中でそのナチュラルボーンっていうかまあバースロタリーにチョイスが少ねえやつっていうのがそんなに苦しむ絵っていうのもあんまり見えんかったかなっていうコンパラティブにこっちの方がいいですかはいどうぞなんかそのマイノリティの話は DPM のとこからはその DLO のやつでその結構言えたそのプアの話とかも結構なくなったと思うけど LO が言ってた話ってちょっとちゃうくてなんかそのそもそもその
チョイスがあること自体が幸せだっていうふうに思ってるから、ポアは自動的にリミティッドなチョイスしかないわけで、そういう状況自体がそもそも辛いよねっていう話を、うん、BM はしてると思って、はいはいはい、でしかも、その高校のあ卒業の後に働きたくてもダメっていうのも、なんかそのユニバーシティ行った後のインパクトが分かんないではなく、ソーシャルプレッシャーで、その周りのプレッシャーとかでやりたいのにやれないっていうのがかわいそうっていう、その行った後のどうこうっていう話ではなくて、そのやりたいのにやれない状況自体がかわいそうっていうインパクトやっと取ったから、王子にインパクトがそこそこもあるんじゃないかっていう評価になったって感じです。他のチームのさインパクト考えだった時もさ最初さ CO はさインパクトちゃんと出てるかなと思ったけどさそのインパクトがあったとしてやっぱチョイスがドミノントナルティブである必要ないからそうそうそれそれだから他のチームにインパクトがあったとしてもやっぱりなんかそのドミノントナルティブを説明してる OG の方がいいって思ったわなんか僕思ったのは CO の方が結構このモーションから揺れてるかなと思って、うんうん、なんか結局そのチョイスなんか,なんか確かに何か選,べ選,選んであこのチョイスをやめると気づいて何でこのナラティブだけがあったとしても何かそ他の選択,選択を選べるとかそういうのが説明なのかなと思って使用者ジェネラルに他にチョイスがあった方が自分がやってたことで挫折したり他の人に警戒た時に他に行けばいいじゃんって話だけどこれはドミナントナラティブである必要なくて。ごめんなさい、全然わかんなくて、だって、それってドミナントナラティブがあるから初めて生じる状況ですよねっていうふうな話は、ラウンド感の本性になってたと思うんですけど、だからドミナントナラティブがあるからチョイスを得ようと頑張って、その結果として、自己著者のパラダイムの方がより多くのチョイスであったり、セーフティーネットがあるっていうことは、ラウンド感の本性になってませんでした。レレバントじゃないっていうふうに思わないんですけどエクスプリシットになんでドミナントじゃないとそのチョイスがないのかっていうふうな話はしてないものの前の流れとかを受けて普通にこっちの方がチョイスが多いとかっていうふうな話は取れるっていうふうに思うんですよいやだからラウンドコンセントに関しては個々人のあれだから分からんです、うん、私はなんか僕もともとこのモーションで、えー、そのチョイスを選ぶ,選ぶ前の状態なんですけど、と思ったんですけど、まあ、そのなんか選んだ状態は、まあ、ちょっと最終的にちょっとおかしいかなと思って、まあ、結局選んだとしても、えっと、こ,のこのナレティブがない状態でも、まあ、例えばこのスペシャライゼーションがいてあこれダメって、まあ、結局そこのナレティブがなくてもなんか他のスペシャライゼーションがいけるっていう感じでそれはと思,それと思った。別になんかあめ他のななんかんナラティブドミナントナラティブがなくてもセーフティーネットは存在しうるっていうふうにドアラさんとなっちゃんと中君は解釈したっていうこと、うん、ジェネラルにチョイスがあった方がいいって話な,なんでですかそれ、えー、じゃあチョイスがあった方がいいっていう話ではなくてなんでナラティブがなかったとしても彼らはセカンドベストだったりセーフティーネットっていうのを持ちうるっていうふうに従ってこれはミューチュアルエクスクーションじゃないっていうふうに解釈したのかもしれないですサンタが言ってるのは、この黄金の流れを踏んでるってことね、つまり。そうです。これ、黄金が言ってたのは、ドミナントナラティブみたいな世界だから、会社とか企業とかがいっぱいチョイスあらかじめをしておきますよっていう話を組んで、組んだ時に、オブウェットの話は、この話に乗っかった上で、他にセーフティーネットが社会に用意されていますよっていうふうに解釈してる。これあ、社会レベルでもそうですし、個人レベルでもそうだと思います。で、その現象自体は、オープニングハーフで、お互いに反論されることなく、絶対に残りましたっていうふうに解釈しました。うん僕はこれ、これって。わかんない。わかんない。わかんない。わかんない。それは、これは、なんかそのナイティブがあって、うん、あ、このチャイスがダメの場合は、うん、あ、これ戻ってから、まあ、これ選ぶ。え、だ、どっちのパラダイムなのか分かる。ガバパラ、ガバパラダイムえー、ある状態。え、ドミアンドラダイムがある状態。ここや。内調世界やな。こっちがおぼ。左がおぼやな。<笑>まあ、ある、なんか、ドミアンが、ある状態。あるある DM って書いてある。ない時は。ダメなんだ。ない状態です、うん。なんか、この時はこのスペシャライズーションが選んで、のダメ、ダメで、こっちに戻って、こっちに戻れないっていう話を信用はしてたよ。いや、それ、なんで戻れないか、それもともとわかんないんですよね。はい、その、その、その、その、前っていうか、ないとなんで戻れないかって。とりあえず僕、提案があるんですけど、とりあえず、全部のチームのやつ、誰かレップさせて説明させませんかこのまま多分議論しても堂々巡りになるだけなので
最低限それぞれのやつをジャストファイする人一人ずつ一、まあ、人以上いてもいいんですけど用意してその人の話をそれぞれやった上でもう一回多分話し合った方がいいかなと思って今何か何を比較したいのかよく分かんなくなってる OG の評価じゃないですかでも OG の評価をしようとして結局他のところとの話が出てきて今は OG の評価をしてたところに CO を評価したいかあそうですねえっ、ー、とじゃあ OG の評価に関して確定させたいのはインパクトがあったかなかったかっていうところです事象としてそれが起こるのは分かるんですけどなんでそのチョイスが大事なのかが分かんないその状態が大事なのかが分からなかったです多分その設定をしようとインパクトが合わなかったよねって思ってる人とかに対してあれになってるからはなんでインパクトをそこまで押すのかっていうのってないからそれだよ多分ミンパクトが大事な理由を僕が示した方がいいっていうことですかインパクトを全,全チームなかったというふうに思ってるねあ,あそうそう、うん、全チームなかったで、その中で文字の評価をインパクトがなかったからなんか下げるっていうのはそうそうちょっと違くないっていう,そういや全チームない中でコンパラティブリーベターなのを示したのが仕様だっていうふうに思ったなんかさインパクトで決めようとした人もいれば例えばそのドミネーションっていうところにアクセントを説明したってことで決めようとしてる人もいるじゃん、うん、だからここでインパクトを確認することの価値は何なのかなって純粋に思った、うん、じゃあ端的になんかそれぞれのさそ,それぞれのサイドをなんか何押している人のこの押しどころを一言で言ってってもらおう,う、うん、はいじゃあ,<笑>あじゃあ OG を押している人の主張はあれですねあのドミネーションですね。はい。いいですね。はい。はい。じゃあ応している人はどなたですか？今井さん。じゃあじゃあちょっと食べてもいいですよ。最低えっと、僕は別に大からのドミナンスの優位性は出てるのかなっていうふうに判断しててでかつその時に僕は残念ながらむしろまあ結局ガバとの比較だとガバのガバ絶対的になんでこれドミナンスじゃなきゃいけないんだっていうのよく分かんないで若干仕様だから迷ってるっていう感じなんでそうだねお弁ですもんねお弁で考えてるんで、うん、でもなんか僕は割とドミナンスは説明できてたんじゃないっていうふうに認識してますと。あーちょっとわかりましたはいじゃあ次 CG をしている人<笑>君君えー、なんか全チームはインパクトがあまりなかったんですけど、うんまあ、CG、まあ、せめてそのなんか今の,の問題はあれに対して、うん、あ,あんまりなんかインパクトまで生きてないけどなんかこの方法なんか進んだら、うん、この人を助かれるかなと思って。うんつまり一番コンパラティブに要請を比較してるっていうてないものえー、っと、うん、どこですか全部どういうこと<笑>問題これ問題を明らかにしたって感じかなはいはい,はいあそれはまあまあおじいと比べるんですよねうんうんうんはい、USEO こっはドミネーションの結果、フリーダムオブチョイスというか選択肢自体がオポパラダイムでたくさん増えることを示し、その状態がなぜリミテッドチョイスの結果、苦しむのより比較的優位になるのかっていうのを示した。はい、選択肢が増えることを示し、選択肢が限られる状態よりもそちらの方が比較優位にあることを示した。はいはいはいはい選択肢が増えることを示したのって王じゃないの、うん、確かに確かにそれも私もそう思った、うん、そういうことまあでも,でもそういうふうになってとりあえずねあ落としたのはそうそうですあのいやいや示したのはオープニングだと思ってますでもそれは別に勝ちには貢献してなくて勝ちには貢献してなくて勝ちには貢献してなくてそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですドミネーションが何をもたらすのかっていうところをお蔵にかけしてそれをコンセにすれば多分僕はキックアウトされるんですよ。え、マジでクレーミングはクレーミングが最低限でうんセーフティーネットが欲しいねんなっていうのは分かったそれ僕に認識した上でもすげえ難しいよしパスさんじゃあ
まあだから多分そのユニークネスっていう観点でドミネーションにレレバントな話をしたっていうところで王子を評価している人がいるんであればドミネーションっていうのが何のどういうふうな結果を起こすのかっていうのとそれは。他のチームにはアプライしないのかつまり他のチームのアーギュメントはイレレバントなのかっていうところを確認していくのが一番いいかなっていうふうに思いますね、うん、あなんかさその王のさノミネーション王でみんなノミネーションが出てるって思ったからそれが使用の話にもつながってるって評価じゃん、はい、で王のこの社会とか警備とかエージェンシーがそれを増やすっていう話に関してはなんやろうななんかそのなんやろうこのハッピーかどうかとかさこういうあれなんかインダが逆っぽいっていうふうにメモしてあるんだよね。<笑><笑><笑>あなんかちょっと王の話で言うと王、うん、の評価が何かっつうとドミナンスである結果フリーダム・オブ・チョイスっていうのがダイバースもしくはより多くのフリーダム・オブ・チョイスが生まれるっていうところまでを示したっていう感じでそれの何がいいのかっていうのは一言も喋ってないです。でなんでそれをドミネイあレレバントかと思ったかっていうと。うんえー、っとそれ自体が幸せであるっていう価値観が社会に蔓延しているんだったらその状態をリアライズすることがいいって思ってる人が多いってことやからより多くの選択肢をプロバイドしようとするしそのより多くの選択肢をステイトとかカンパニーとかに求めるようになるしカンパニーやステイトとかもそういうふうにダイバースなチョイスっていうのをなるべく作り出そうとするっていう状態でドミナントであるがゆえに人々がそれを信じそれを求め結果それが生まれるっていうふうな事実までは取れました。そうだね確かに私もそうやって書いてあるだからハッピーのところが出てなくてそうです出てないですそうなんだよね、うん、なるほどねそうそうだから使用化ドミネーションみたいな話は全く出てないけど元となってるその大の話がドミ,ネートドミネーションから来てるから、うん、だから使用の話もユニークっていうふうに取れるって取れるとっていう解釈が分かるが使用がそれを意識しているように聞こえなかった、うん、<笑>使用はなんかねそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうのが私雑の解釈なのかラウンドの中の必然なのかがわからんだって結局マスとかの話そうそうそうなんだよそのお仕様の話っていうのはマスマスマスあああの数学とかそのちゃんとそのプリペアしている段階なんかそのえー、っと最初にやっちょっと待ってくださいどこどこの話か聞いてからえっと仕様のえー、っとどうしてその一回失敗した後にこっちこのドミナントナラティブがあったらそうそうそうそうサッカーとかの話してたやつよねうんそうそうドミナントナラティブがあったらそのオルタナの方向に行けるのかっていう話あオル別のチョイスに行けるのかっていう話のところででなんでそれに行けるかっていうとちゃんとプリペアするから社会にシステムがあるからっていうっていう見せ方っていうよりもなんか自分で,そう自分でその勉強してる意味とかっていうのが、うん、その向こうパラダイムでは分からないけどその数学とかっていうのもちゃんとユニバーシティ行くために必要だからそれってフューチャーにとって大事だからだからそういうふうにプリペアするからそういうふうにオルタナのチョイスに行けるんだよねって言ってその往々の,そのなんか社会システムみたいに乗ってるようには聞こえんかった。えっと、そのインディビジュアルの話の段,の段階でじゃあ、えっと、なんかどのチョイスが未来のためにマキシマ,マ,マ,マ,マイズ・エージェンシーできるとかそのかそれは選んでそれも結構、えっとえー、なんていうかね治療の話治療の先のなんかプレパーの話が結構似てるんじゃないって。うんえっと、それは多分、あどうぞ、えっと、CO のスタンスは、そもそもコンシダーしてからのプリペアではないと思ってて、河合がブラインドリー・ビリービングでいいじゃんっつって、大事だと思っている以上、そのチョイスをなるべく多く保持した状態でいようとするからこそ、結果的に選んだものが何であれ、それが失敗したときにも、アベイラブルセカンドオプションっていうのが存在する。いうススタンスだと思ってだからコンシダーするか否かっていうところはあまり関係ないかなっていうふうに思うその数学も大事やから準備しとこうとかじゃなくて普通にそれがいいことだと思ってるから別に考えなくてもその状態っていうのを保持しようよりたくさんのチョイスを持った状態であろうとするっていうインセンティブが働いてそれっていうのは何かしらの分野で失敗した後でもアクセスできるチョイスっていうのがまだ残っていることだよねっていうふうに。うん、なんかこれさなんか
、チョイスを持っている状態が大事って説明の仕方してたじゃん、河合が。まあそうですね。その時に、持っているっていう言い方がすごく内発的な動機に見えたんだよね。自分の力で何かチョイスをこう考えておこうみたいな。多分両方説明してたと思います。エクスターナルにも、インターナルにも、そういうふうな状況がもたらされるっていう話をしてたと思います。ちなみに僕のイメージだと CO いい話はしてて多分相手の話をフリップしようっていうのは分かったけどなんかワーストケースジャスティフィケーションはしてるけどじゃあなん,かドミなんかドミナンスナラティブがなかった時に何で実現できるのかっていうところの説明が僕は浅いって思ってるドミ,ナンスドミナンスナラティブがあるからこそ失敗した世界でも別のチョイスに行けるとかっていう話だったりとかっていうのを言ったりとかめっちゃこう信じれば信じ続けるから。なんか何もこう指標がない余裕を増したよねっていう話が2つが来てたと思っててなんとなくそ,れその2つの話は分かったんだけどじゃあコンパラティブリーに何,何もない時はどうなるのかが僕は分かんないっていうふうに思っててなんかネガティブな感じですでおなんていうのポーズしてるっていうふうに僕は捉えてるんで。あそれは MO のところで話してると思って普通にこのチョイスがいいチョイスなのかどうかっていうのは別にチョイスが自分がどんだけ持っているかにかかわらずこれがいいってこの時思ってたとしてもずっと考え続けたりあ後,でこうあ後で後悔っておかしいね後悔することっていうのが結構ありうるなんでかっていうとフューチャーっていうのはアンビギュアスでその人自身には分かんないからっていうふうな話をしてたからその状態でだからその,その人が今選んだことっていうのが成功しうるのかどうかもしくはそれを信じられ続けられるのかどうかっていうのが分かんない状態だったらまだあ,あかんかった時の。カバーがある方がいいじゃんっていう話をしてたと思うんで、両方のパラダイムには触れてるかなっていうふうに思いますね。それがなかった時に、クルーシャルにこれ失敗したわって思い続けたりとか、もうえー、それに対してずっとフォーカスし続けたせいで、他のものが何もなくて、チョイスが選べない状態になるのやべえっていう話は、普通にしてたかなっていうふうに思いました。あ、はいはいはい。え、MO がスピーチ始めるの一番最初で結構往々のことバカにした言い方してたと思うんですけど、はい、なんかやっぱりこう、往々全然ダメだったからやりますってな感じに見えて、往、は、々、いまあの話を参考にしているようには見えなかったんですよね。いやー。うーん、ダメか。で別に俺、王の話だけを参考にしてるわけじゃなくて、王子も組んだ上で、え事象としてこっちの方がアベイラブルチョイスが増えるっていうのは、オープニングの時点で、両者がコンセントしてた状態になると思ってて、っていうのも、DPM が何を話してたかっていうと、ドミナントだった場合、リベラルな会社とか、オーバーウェルミングにこれがいいって思ってるから、多すぎて選べねえみたいな話もしてる。ですよね、ってことはこっちの方がより多くのチョイスだドミナントならではとある世界の方がより多くのチョイスがあって選べねえっていう話をしてるんですけど、まあ、選べなかった時に何が起こるのかっていうのが多分ハームとして残るんですけどそれ自体は結構ベイグでそれをリカバーできるっていうふうに CO も示してるっていうことでオープニング時点でドミネントっていうドミナンスであるがゆえにフリーダムオブチョイスとかアベイラブルチョイスっていうのがオッポパラダイムでの方が多いっていうのは両者がコンセントしててかつ反論がされていないのである程度立っててでそれがいいの悪いのっていうところに対しては両者ともにはっきりと言えてなくて多いがゆえに自分が本当にいいと思ったものを選べなかったりとか多いことがいいことだからって多いことを選ぶような選択肢ユニバーシティに行くことっていうのをエンカレジされた結果、えー、苦しむのが王子のケースだったんですけどどれぐらい苦しむのかっていうところがアンビギュアス。また大物はそれがどれぐらい持ってるのかっていうところを話してなかったんですけどどちらにせよ絶対こっちの方がセーフティーやしそっちの方がコンパラティブリーハッピーじゃんっていうのを示したのは CO だっていうふうに解釈して CO1 にしましたではちょっと変わった、はい、そうなんか CO の評価は大物はまだちょっと低いものなんですけど CO はちょっと上げてもいいかなって思ったっていうのはなんかオポエフのブラインドリービリーブだからラザーグッドっていうところでちょっとそのなんでこういうこのノームがないとダメ感は確かにちょっと出ててまあ確かにドミなんか例えばその数学とかそのフューチャーベネフィットっていうのは特に想像しづらいからドミナントじゃないとダメなんだぐらいの説明まではされてないもののまあ組んであげてもいいかなぐらいにはなったけどなんかその多分そのまた OG の評価との違いなんですけど、神田さんとは。その私はその OG の,そのなりたくてもなれないっていうのは、ユニバースに行ったことがどうかっていうよりも、それ自体がかわいそうっていうふうに取ってたから、だから CO の評価はわかるけれども、なんかそれが
か結局なんかどっちがいいっていう結論 CO か OG っていう結論にしかならないんですけどなそれがなんか結局確かにその準備できるのは分かるけれどもその OG が言ってるのはその準備するためにサクリファイズしてるものがあるって話じゃないですかだからその OG を取った時にその両方なるってなっちゃったっていう今だから今は CO か OG が。はい、ぐらいでそこちょっとさっき落としたんやけど言ってなかったのがそのやりたくてもできないっていう状態になってしまうことがなぜ大事なのかが分からないそれは分かっちゃったな<笑>なんか使用なんかさ私最初使用すごいいいなって思ったのはさなんかちゃんとさなんていうの表裏喋ってると思ったんだよこのチームはそう,そう,そうある時とない時とちゃんと喋ってるから、うん、いいなって思った私はこれ,これを結構最初見て1位に。出てたので、私はなんか使用は1位でもいい気がしてきた。うん、なので、こっちにも一応書く。<笑>そう、やっぱなんか両方裏を持ってるチームは他にいないような気がするから。それは強化してあげてもいい気がする。うん、で、そうか、王子を。うん、えっ、ー、と、なんやっけ、そのだから。やりたくてもできない状態。あーそっかだから使用の話をなんかユーザーエクステンドしたらなんかそのエクステンドしたらまずくなるユーザーエクステンドしたらまずくなるいやまあ、まあ、いいやんちょっと聞いていやー聞くよ大勢のその働きたくてもできなかった結果まあそれは確かにかわいそうかもしれないけどまあそれでユニバーシティに行ったとしてでも、CO の言ってる話っていうのは、その行った後、アットリースト、その失敗した後、なんとかできる世界が待ってる。だからちょっとそのできなかったなって思うかもしれないけど、アットリースト、そのちゃんとなんていうの、セーフティーネットがあるみたいな状況に入れるから、CO の方が、その OG の、話かわいそう感インパクトって言ったらあれだけど王子のインパクトってかわいそうをある程度分かったとしても使用を上にしてもちょっといいと思ってきた、うんうん、感じか、うん、<笑>王子と使用の限界に関してはどうですかまあでも他に別のポジションを1位にしてる人もおるからな中君とか。<笑>確かに<笑>さてこの場合どうすればいいのだ<笑>、まあ、とりあえずまあ青と青しいいや青と白おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおみんな<笑>みんなのあはいここあこういやなんかみんなの言ってることが分かって多分やっぱりワーストケースジャス,ジャスティケーションになってるっていうところが評価できる相手の応人とかガバ全体の話のダメじゃんっていうところのバリューをフリップしたっていうのは多分重く取れば仕様が上になって、うん、でもなんか。そこのがあったとしてそもそも多分さっきあれだ野原さんが言ったみたいにそもそもの流れでも作ったら応募だよねっていうところを考えたときにこのなんか左右のところがあれなのかなっていうのがちょっと分かんなくてそのプリンスを埋めたっていうところに関しては応募だけのコントリビューションじゃないと思って DPM が話してるから別にそのド,ミネド,ミドミナントであるがゆえにより多くのチョイスが生まれる。っていう風な事象に関しては DPM も話しているので O がそれをユニークに立てたっていうのがあったとしてもそれをベンチウィンに貢献するものとしてカウントすることはおそらくできなくて何をしなきゃいけないかっていうとそのフリーダムオブチョイスが増えた結果っていうのがなぜいいのかっていうのを示すっていうのが比較優位というかベンチをウィンに。させるために必要なことだと思ってるので、それを示しただけで O がチョイスの状況はコンセンサスだと考えて、はい、それ自体はバリューニュートラルだから、そうですそうです,そ,うですそれのまあやつを肯定したっていうところで使用とってそうです。まあそうね、それならまあ、うん、いいかなと思います。
うん、あ、うん、私はあの一番初めに OG って言ってた理由は、うん、その仕様のノミネーションの部分が欠けてるって思ってたからそのインパクトがどうこうっていうの関係なく OG かなって思ってでしかも OG の話もその仕様と比べてインパクトが分かるではなくそれが分からなかった時に OG っていう程度には分かるっていうインパクトの取り方をしてて。だから、し、オージーと使用のインパクトを比較して、オージーとは言ってないですか。オッケー、じゃあ、うん。さて、どうやってオージーをサポートしようかな。できるかな。なくなってきた。<笑>うん、でも、なんか、その時に使用。レスチョイスのやつに対するスティグマの話はどうですか。PM も DPM もしてるいや PM も DPM もしてるただまあまあわかんねえんだよな PM はスティグマっていう言い方でしょはしてないけど、まあ、そいつ自体が結構私ハッピーじゃねえんだなーって思っちゃうみたいな話はしてたああそれかこれは違うこれは応募に対処されてたかなって思ってスティグマだったら終わりたくなっちゃうじゃないですかまさにそう多分深めた話ピクチャライズしたのは知りたいかなっていうふうにじゃあまあやっぱその時点では足りてないってなるに評価するのかなと。ってなると大体消えた感じがします。はい、そうだね。個人の話結局なんかドミナドミナントなものだったら何でもこれをこれさにやばいじゃんっていう話になってるから。DPM そうあ DPM はしそれは多分まあ普通にしくってる。うんなんか PLO で消えて PLO でやられてた。なんか確かにそれが大きいな。そうやな。DM はなんかいけるかあ、DM はやっぱ<笑>やっぱわかんないよ<笑>欲しいでしょうかね、CO でいいのえ、で、結局だからあ,あ、まあ、結局なんかインパクトみたいな感じかなうんオチが、オージのオチがいまいちよくわからんかった CG が深めたスピードの話は一応 CG と CO で比較しとくそれなんで CO にしたんですかかわいそうあ、そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうセカンドオプションがなかったとき、つまりガバパラダイムで失敗したときのかわいそうさは、十分話しいいえ、その今のオブジェと CG だけで。え、はい、いや、CG でかわいそうさっていうコントリビューションがあるんだったら、それを CO とも比較しといた方が、なるほどね、このラウンドとかね、インパクトを結構大切なものとして見たならば、うん、CG のインパクト結構大きかったって、はい、みんなのコンビだったときに、CO、はいはいうん、のインパクトと比較しよう,う、うんうん、そうです。そうですうんそれでも使用の方が上にできると思ってなんでかっていうと両方のパラダイムにおいていいっていうことを示したからでかわいそうさに関してはスティグマされるやつのかわいそうさは CG が示したけど使用は一方でそれがセカンドオプションがなかったようなかわいさを操作は示してるからかわいそうさを示したっていうことだけでどちらが上っていうふうに言ってるのは無理でお互いにその比較はあまりされてなかったって感じかね、うん、でもプラクティカル的になんかそのセグナチュンになる場合はカバーでいそうよりそうニカバーとかニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニカバーでいそうニそう